Hello phone fans, I'm Luke Westway for CNET here at Mobile World Congress 2013. We're taking a look at the Alcatel One Touch Idle X. Now the Alcatel One Touch Idle X may not have the snappiest name, but it does have one of the snappiest processors that your money can buy. Specifically, it's got a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor, which should mean that this phone is capable of handling intensive apps or graphically demanding games, for example. If I spin it around on the back, you can see it's got an 8 megapixel camera. Now there are actually going to be two different versions of this phone, one with a single SIM card slot and one with a dual SIM card slot. The difference between them is going to be the single SIM card slot one will have a micro SD card slot as well and the 8 megapixel camera, while the dual SIM version is going to have a 13 megapixel camera but won't have the micro SD card slot. Instead, it's going to have 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. The design is quite nice. This bezel around the side is extremely narrow, which gives this phone a very classy look. And uh, it looks as if the actual display is very close to the top of the glass, which I think always makes a phone look quite classy. If you spin this on its side, Alcatel is very proud of the fact that this phone only measures 7 millimeters thick, so it should slide into your pockets without any problems. The luxury doesn't end with the hardware though. This phone also has a very recent version of Android. Specifically, it's running version 4.2.1, which is a very recent version of Jelly Bean. The screen looks really good, it's colourful, it's bright, and this is a 1080p display, so everything looks really sharp. That's going to make this phone a really good choice for web browsing because text will look very crisp and it should handle high definition video without any problems. So it looks like quite a nice high end phone. I would say that there's nothing about it that I haven't really seen on other mobiles, but that said, it's nice to have everything tied up neatly in one little package. Uh, can it compete though with devices like whatever Samsung's got cooking up next or maybe the Google Nexus? for I'm not sure you'll have to wait for the full review but for now there's some stuff to look forward to here uh, it's going to be coming out worldwide before the summer so keep an eye out I'm Luke Westray for CNET and this is the Alcatel One Touch Idle X